Hi friends, welcome to our new video. In this video, we are going to discuss about the best first search in artificial intelligence. Okay, it is coming under the informed search category. Okay, it uses the concept of priority queue and a heuristic search. What is the main aim of this BFS that is best first search is that we have to find the shortest path okay from the initial state to the goal state that is uh, a graph will be given an initial state will be there and a goal state will be there so the main aim of this best first search is to find the shortest path from the initial state to the goal state so for this we are just uh, for searching uh, using bfs we are using two list that list is named as open and closed list okay open and closed okay we are just maintaining two list that is open and close list open list it contains uh, what it just keep track of all the current immediate nodes that is uh, required for traversal okay so this close list it contains what it contains the nodes that are already traversed that is that are already visited okay right then <coughs> we have a graph given here okay then uh, uh, there are initial status a and our goal status g we have to find the shortest path from the initial state to the that is we have to find the shortest path from a to g okay so some values are given here right 100 200 60 20 like that so what is it these are the distances these are the distances so these distances uh, we we call it as euclidean distances okay euclidean distances uh, we have discussed it in the last video okay these are the these are heuristic values okay what is euclidean distance it is just the straight line distance connecting uh, two points okay so the a to g the distance is given 100 b to g given 200 c to g 100 s to g likewise all the distances to the uh, goal uh, is given okay so using this distances how can we solve this uh, graph okay using the bfs okay let's see so we have st uh, start from the initial state that is initial state is a so we are we have two list is given that is open and close list so um, right. open and closed open and close list so what is open list contains a set of uh, current imme current immediate nodes okay so first node is first is the initial node that is let's start from a okay so the open list contain what a okay then next step is to generate all the successors of a all the successors of a so uh, the successors of a is s c and b right s c and b s c and b right so what is the heuristic value of s 50 what is the heuristic value of c 100 what is the heuristic value of b it is 200 right so the first step is we have start from the initial state then we have put it in the uh, open list and next step is to generate all the successors of a that is s c and b then uh, then we have put the heuristic values here and uh, the <coughs> minimum value the, the that is just remember while writing the notes uh, into the open list uh, just uh, write it in the ascending order okay write it in the ascending order so just uh, you can remove this a from the open list and you can put it into the closed list because a is already visited okay a is already traversed so just remove it and put it in the close list after that just uh, you have to put this s c b in, into the open list okay that is the uh, current nodes okay immediate node s c and b so while writing this notes into the open list you have to write it in the ascending order so the first you have to write s and next you have to write c and next you have to write b that is 50 100 200 right so the first node uh, in the open list that is s okay first node in the open list it will be the next node to be traversed 
okay the first node in the open list it will be the next node to be traversed so next node to be traversed is s because s is the minimum heuristic value so just what is the uh, you can generate all the successors of s s uh, has only one successor that is c right so just s has only one successor that is uh, c what is the heuristic value of c that is 100 right okay so you can just put this s as is uh, uh, already traversed so just you can uh, F S and you can just put it into the closed list after that uh, uh, you can generate uh, the successor of C that uh, sorry S that is C C is already there in the uh, what there in the open list right so it is in the ascending order that is first it is C uh, next is B right so 100 200 B is 200 so the next node that is to be traversed is what C right next node that is to be traversed is C okay that is already there in the uh, open list okay then you have to generate the uh, successors of C that is uh, C uh, the successors of C is what D and E right D and E so just D and E what is the heuristic value of D 60 what is the heuristic value of E that is 70 okay that is it so next step is to just you can uh, put this C into the closed list okay you can just put uh, C into the closed list and uh, put the successors of C that is D and E in, in into the open list so before that uh, the next node to be traversed is what D right because the minimum heuristic value is uh, D 60 that is minimum heuristic value here is, uh, is D so just uh, I, I told earlier that the first node in the open list uh, should be the next node to be traversed right so uh, the, the open list uh, contains the node B so before that uh, you have to insert you have to write the notes in the ascending order so first you have to write D next E then B so just write D uh, and B is already there so first you have to write D and next you have to write E and next you have to write B after that so it will be in the ascending order that is 60 70 and 200 so the next node to be visit is what uh, next node to be traversed is what D so uh, that is D here so D is contained because 660 so you can generate all the successors of D that is successors of D is F and E right F and E so just um, F E and F okay what is the heuristic value of E that is 70 and what is the heuristic value of F that is 20 fine so okay so what is the minimum value here that is F is uh, F contains the minimum value that is 20 so you can just uh, uh, remove the D from the open list remove the D from the open list and you can just put it into the close list okay then after that uh, you can uh, uh, write the successors that is E and F uh, E is already there in the open list right E is already there so first uh, uh, the value should be F right because it should be written in the ascending order so first you have to write F uh, next E then to uh, then B right so be because the next node to be traversed is uh, F right that is the minimum uh, heuristic value is 20 so just you can write f first here then e then b that is the, the so it is in the ascending order right and then the uh, node the open list the first node uh, contain the first node will be the uh, node next node to be traversed that is f is the minimum uh, value that is 20 so next is f to be traversed so f f contains just generate all the successors of f f is uh, f has only one successor right that is G so G now what is the heuristic value of G it is 0 because uh, it can it is our goal so just you can just remove this uh, F from the open list and you can just put it into the closed list and uh, uh, you can generate the successors of f f has only one successor that is our g that is our goal node so you can just put it into the uh, that is zero it is the minimum value. so you can put it like this okay g e b that is zero uh, then 70 then 200 right so the next node is what next node is g that is our 
that is our gold note okay that is our gold note so finally uh, g has uh, no successes because it has the heuristic value zero so finally we have reached the uh, gold note so what is our path a s c d f g right so what is our path just a s c d f and g so this is our shortest path okay shortest path that is a from a to g okay this is how or this is how we find the shortest path using this best first search algorithm uh, so this best first search algorithm it uses the concept of priority queue the and uh, heuristic search and will be maintaining for searching uh, we will be maintaining two list that is open and close list and open list contains a set of current immediate notes close list it will be con it will be containing uh, the notes that is already traversed okay so that is about the best first search in uh, at, uh, algorithm in artificial intelligence okay this is one of the one of the popular algorithms that is used in ai so in the next video uh, we will be discussing about the a star algorithm which is more important uh, okay that is about the today's uh, session then thank you